Good evening, welcome to Holy Trinity Church, Fort Compline. Bedtime prayers. And as always, they'll be led by Paige Bridges. My name's Gordon Blue. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Page 127 of your prayer book. Yes, thank you for joining us. We're praying for your well-being and happiness and ours <laughs> tonight. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect day. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned against you through, through our, our own fault, fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, glory to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the, Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Tonight we'll read a portion of Psalm 105, beginning at verse 37. He led out his people with silver and gold. In all their tribes there was not one that stumbled. Egypt was glad of their going because they were afraid of them. He spread out a cloud for a covering, and a fire to give light in the night season. They asked, and quails appeared, and he satisfied them with bread from heaven. He opened the rock, and water flowed, so the river ran in the dry places. For God remembered his holy word to Abraham his servant. So he led forth his people with gladness, his chosen with shouts of joy. He gave his people the lands of the nations, and they took the fruit of others' toil. That they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. as it was in the beginning, is now will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm tickled. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, affirming your faith. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. We are light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. We give you thanks, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We invite you to join us in special prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings. I'd like to begin with thanksgiving for the peace in this church. 
and disturbed by it like I am. Especially his beautiful cry in his the garden. Yes, we give you thanks for this parish, this congregation, for this lovely building, for the missions and the ministries of the people of the parish, for their love for one another, for our community. Give you thanks for the new building for the glory hall. It's fully occupied by many people. And I give you thanks for the sake of son John praise be God Amen Amen Guide us waking O Lord and guard us sleeping that our wake we may watch with Christ and the sleep we may rest in peace Lord we now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. The blessings of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always.